Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I'm back with one of my weird junk wax obsessions, which is 1991 Topps Baseball Variations. Uh, as you see here on my trusty list, I was able to obtain some, some more 1991 Topps baseball cards from somebody who was looking to get rid of them pretty cheap. So here's what we got. Maybe 300 and some uh, cards plus two unopened packs. We're looking for all these things you can see over here on the left here. And so far I've found none of the big ones. Found plenty of the uh, other smaller errors. Keith Comstock and West Chamberlain, etc., etc. Scott Kulba. But uh, none of the border errors, which are what I'm really after. These are a bit bowed, you can see. Why do baseball cards do that? All right, we're just going to flow through these and see what we can find. And then we'll do a check overall to see if we have dark back, light back, glow back, non glow back, etc. There's Milt Thompson getting out of the way of a pitch. There's Ricky Henderson. We'll put him aside. Uh, there's Jim Abbott. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer right there. Everybody's favorite. Here's Eric Davis. Len Dykstra. Barry Bonds. Bo Jackson. Dave Justice. So this is clearly... Oh, there's Nolan Ryan. That'll be for my PC. So this has clearly not been picked through for kind of like Hall of Fame cards. That's a good sign. Of course, you know, the basic cards here... Don't have a whole lot of value. There's John Crook with a nice backhanded ground ball there. Um, so it's not like there's a lot of value in there. So that's why I find this so fun and interesting looking for these variations. And there are some more that I don't really look for. There are, like there's a Mark McGuire and a Don Mattingly that have some uh, statistical errors on the back. Those just don't interest me all that much, so. I don't look for those. Nothing interesting so far. Not even the regular versions of the, the ones I'm looking for. Dave Winfield. And let's see here. What else? We, oh, there's Keith Comstock. That's one of the ones we're looking for, but this is the corrected version. The error is the one with the Cubs logo right there, so we'll put that aside. There's Alan Trammell. There's Ryan Sandberg. Another one from our PC. Eddie Murray. Let's see what else here. Wes Chamberlain. Oh, that's another one we're looking for. So that is actually Wes and not Louis Meadows, who is, uh, if you see the one of him, hold, the person holding a bat, it's the wrong picture, it's the wrong person. All right, so that's two of the uh, more common Errors or variations. Daryl Strawberry. Oh, Doug Drayback. This is one of the ones we're looking for. This one has the black border, so this is the standard version. If there's a white border, that's a highly, highly sought after one. That's the one we're looking for. There's Cecil Fielder. So. There's uh, the pink number on the back here is the one we're looking for. This one does not, it has a regular gray number. So, so far we are finding some of the uh, cards, just not in the variations that uh, we're after. There's a Carlson Fisk. Scott Kulba, there we go. This is the one without the pink feather on his cap. It's not an actual feather, it's just a printing error, but that's a variation. Actually, I found more with the pink than without, so that's nice to find the one without. Larry Walker, rookie cup card. Daryl Strawberry again. John Smoltz. Scott Coolbaugh again. Look, and this one has no feather. So we have double, no feather, Scott Coolbaugh. For those variations, there's Tuffy Rhodes. Duplication in here, but 
Your Juan Gonzalez. Steve Avery. I always put him aside for some reason. He's part of that great rotation from uh, the early 90s uh, Braves teams. It looks like we do, like these are all light back. So just do a quick, quick peek here and see if we got uh, glowbacks. Yeah, they're mostly glowbacks, if not all glowbacks. So light back, glowback is what we're looking at for those keeping score at home. And I've now amassed probably multiple thousands of 1991 tops at this point. And I'm gonna do a full statistical study, unscientific as it is, to, there's a, um, to see, oh, there's Jose Gonzalez. And that is the left-handed. So that is left-handed photo, that's Billy Bean. That is the error, that is not Jose Gonzalez, that is Billy Bean. So there's that one. Statistical study to see what we have more of: light back, dark back, glow back, non glow back. And I think all those variations. I don't know that there are any more kind of rare than the other ones. Right, two more handfuls, and then we can open up these packs. Sparky Anderson, Barry Larkin. Ripken. There's a Frank Thomas. It's a nice car. And all right. Last chance here. Look for that Chris Hoyles, really. That's what I want to see. There's a Lee Smith. Ryan Sandberg, another one from PC. Alan Trammell. Will Clark. Vigio, there's Ricky Henderson, and that's it. So, all right, so let's see what's in these. We got some gum in here. Looks like these are gonna be light back. There's the gum, it's still in good, good shape there. These are non glow back, so that's good or interesting or different than the rest of the box. There's a Burt Fly 11. And these instant win game cards, actually, for those who are looking to make a complete master set, are necessary as well. There's Tom Glavin, because they have, there's Tim Raines, too. They have differing numbers on them. So the D12579DFG. So if you want to make a full, complete master set, you have to get all the different versions of that as well. So. This set is just full, full of variations for those master set builders. And that's what makes it so fun and so rewarding. Again, not a whole lot of value there, but just fun and interesting. So again, light back and non glow back. There's the Mark McGuire. Let's see here if we've got the right stats in the back. I think we do. All right, there's a Bo Jackson for you. And that'll do it. So, well, we didn't find any of the big rare ones. We did get uh, Jose Gonzalez, the, the error there. Keith Comstock, we got the corrected one. Wes Chamberlain, we got the corrected one. Doug Drabeck, we got the corrected one. Scott Coolbot, we got the no pink feather, twice. And Cecil Fielder, we got the regular one. So, really, I mean, we found quite a few. Quite a few of them in there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I've got a few more of these boxes, and we'll go through those another time. See you then.